Okay, I want to talk a little bit more about error handling and promises. Now, I have a function here which is going to return a very simple promise. This could be any kind of promise, uh, fetch or anything that you build yourself. We've got the resolve and reject methods. When we call resolve, this will pass this value back to the promise itself. So this function gets called, the promise object is then passed back. So down here, line 10, we're calling this function. The then is going to be what happens when this resolves. So the promise object gets passed back to here, and then the promise object is sitting here. When the promise resolves, the then method gets called. So we're going to call for the win. It's going to come down here, and this value right here, this e, this is going to be the number 123. Okay, simple enough. We can run that, and there it is. For the win resolve, 123. We got the method I mean, sending it back. If we reject, if we call the reject method, 321, and instead of resolve, we just do the reject. When we run this, then WTF reject. This is the method right here that gets called. There's also another way that you can do this. Um, if you just have the then, you are actually able to do this. You can put in the method for when this works and the method for when it fails. So this is resolve and this is reject again. So down here, it's going to call this method. If we run this again, oh, got to save it first. And there we are, WTF2. This method got called. So I can have both catches, but only the first catch is going to run. This comes before this. If there's a reject that comes from the promise, this is the one that's going to run. So you can do it either way. This with the catch or putting it inside the then. Most code samples you'll see will have an explicit catch, but you can do it either way. Okay, now that's with resolve and reject. What about when you have an error that happens inside of here? It doesn't happen often, but it is possible. You could have some sort of error. Say you're doing a fetch call, and with the fetch call, there's a, a network issue or something that prevents the fetch from doing anything, or there's even a, a syntax error that happens. Something causes an error, an exception to happen inside the promise. And an error... There we are. So an error inside the promise is happening. Now, normally, when you have an error, when you're calling a method that could throw an error, this is what you would do. You would wrap it inside of a try-catch block. And you'd say, OK, the error is happening here. I'm calling the function. The error happens. It's going to pop up and come down to my catch. But in the case of promises, you're not getting the error that comes back from here. This error is trapped inside of this promise object. It's the promise object that's come back here. So we're waiting for a result from the promise. If an error happens inside the promise, it'll be handled by the catch. Again, you can do it either way, but the catch is what's going to handle this. So if we run the, save it, and then run this now, there we are error inside the promise, and here's all the details about that error. Now, if we don't want all of this, if all we want is this little message right here, then we can come down. Um, let's see, what are we doing inside of here? We're inside of uh, WTF, this one. So inside of here, we can check to see if type of E is object. That means it's the error object coming back. Otherwise, it's going to be just the string or the number actually because these are numbers right here so if it's the object or if it's the number what we want to do is just get the message we don't want the whole error written out because it looks really ugly that way okay clear this run it again and there we are there's just the message showing up inside of here because it was an error object that came back. So when you're 
writing promises. Make sure, not just for the reject cases, but also for errors that happen. Make sure that you have this catch to handle the errors that are coming in your promises. And if it is an error object, you can check to see if it is that or if it's the reject value. You can use the same function for both. Just check and see if it's an error object. It's probably the message that you want. And this will work as well inside the browser. I also have it uh, here if I run it. There we are. Error inside the promise. So here's my HTML page. It's just loading this script. That's all it's doing is the script that we've been looking at here. And there you go. Okay, so node on the terminal or in the browser. Same thing. Try catch is not going to do anything to catch errors that happen inside of promises. If you've got potential of an error happening in a promise, which is always, use a catch. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you found that useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.